11. Consider the system shown in figure 16.9, which is this figure right here. What is the change in entropy for the process where the energy is initially associated with particles A and B, and the energy is distributed between two particles in different boxes, one in AB and the other in C or D? Okay, so we basically have this drawing where we're talking about energy states. The energy is depicted by the little stars. So in each type of drawing, there are two stars. These represent the energy. So for example, in this uh, picture, all the energy is designated towards letter A. Both stars are on A. But in this one, the energy is for A and B. Now, we want to find out the change in entropy, right? The change in entropy, any change is a delta, right? It's the triangle. And entropy is S. We're talking about randomness and probability. What's the probability, basically, or are we going from something that's lower probability to higher probability or vice versa um, in this situation? So the equation that we're going to use is this one right here. Delta S equals K times the ln of WF divided by WI. Now, the W is basically the number of microstates. Now, microstates can be depicted as just pictures. So there's a total of three microstates here. So three plus four is seven, five, uh, eight, nine, ten. So there's a total of ten microstates here. We just have to pick the ones that go with our situation. Now, we're solving for delta S. The K value is a constant. It's the Boltzmann constant. So that's 1.38 times 10 to the negative 23rd. And that's joules per Kelvin. The microstates, right, they don't really have any units per se. They just have a number, right? So the delta S value would also be joules per Kelvin because it follows the unit of the Boltzmann constant. Now let's just figure out what the initial I microstates were and the final ones. So let's see. They said initially we were only allowed to associate with particles A and B. So we want that energy that was only on A and B. So let's see. We're just going to go through the situations and just figure out which ones are on A and B. Well, this one can't be it. Those stars are only on A. Here's one of them because the star is on A and B. This is on B only. This is A and C, so that doesn't count. A and D, that doesn't count. B and C, keep in mind we're looking for A and B. B, D, all C, C and D, and all D. So in this case, there's only one initial value. So if we're already plugging this in, delta S equals the Boltzmann constant, 1.3, 8 times 10 to the negative 23rd. This would be the ln of something divided by 1. Now, all we have to do is we just have to find out what that final microstate is. Well, let's see. They then, they then say that the energy is distributed. So this is coming up next, right? This is the final. After it was A and B, it was distributed between two particles in different boxes. One has to be either A and B, and the other one has to be either C or D. So we have, we have choices here, right? Let's figure out all the choices. Now, technically, one energy can be with A, and the other one can be with B. And maybe, maybe I'll color code this because I see that all A's and B's are red. So we'll say one could be with A and one could be with B. But now the other one can either be C or D. So technically, if you have the first one being an A, you can have two outcomes. One can be in C and the other one can be in D. The same thing goes for B. One can be in C and the other one can be in D. So technically here we have four different outcomes. We can have A and C, 
We could have A and D. We could have B and C, and we could have B and D. Let's just find those out, right? Let's see. Not all A, not all B. AC is totally fine, so this one checks out. AD is totally fine, right? They just got to be one on one and one on the other. BC is fine, so this checks out. This checks out, right? B and D, that was an answer. So right now we're up to four. All C, all D, and this one is CD. This does not count because I need one in here. So there was a total of four final states. So four goes up here. Now all we have to do is calculate. I'm just gonna plug this into the calculator at one shot. You can do it as many you know shots as you need to. Let's just see if we get the same answer. So ln of four times 1.38 times 10 to the negative 23rd. And my delta S value is, I guess we'll do two sig figs, 1.91 times 10 to the negative 23rd. And that's joules per Kelvin. Okay. And it's a positive delta S. Anytime that you have a positive entropy, right? A positive change in entropy, that means that you're going to more randomness, more probability. And it makes sense. You went from something that was only one shot to four shots. So more probability, you know, more randomness, higher entropy. And there you go. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much for that. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers, and it's all because of you guys. So thank you. I'll be talking to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.